Hello. The Roland Juno 106 has two envelopes and they're slightly different uh, in that they can do different functions. Envelope one is kind of the, the dominant envelope. It, it's capable of doing more things because it can be tied to the BCF. We'll see that shortly, but just for now, uh, because I've got it set up, I want to show you how we can interact with um, amplitude or volume uh, using the envelopes. So listen to this sound. Okay, not desperately pleasant, but it's gonna serve a purpose. So the LFO is doing its thing. Every cycle of the LFO, it's sending a trigger to envelope one. So envelope one is picking up that information. It's got no attack, so it's happening immediately. And then it's decaying to the sustain point. And then when the, um, the, the, the trigger has finished firing, it has a release cycle where it lets the sound go. What it's doing with that sound is affected by envelope two. Let's have a look at why. So here we have the DCO. This is the, the oscillator that generates our sounds. And we've got the pulse width modulation set to maximum and configured to, um, to interact with envelope two. If I take that off and just turn it into manual mode, we get this sound. Okay, quite nasal. I'll turn PWM all the way down and play it. A much deeper ringing bell tone. What's happening when we switch to envelope two is that it's basically turning off, on, off. Again and again and again. And it's virtually sliding this slider from top to bottom every time. It's changing the width of the pulse wave by this amount. If we put that all the way up, then we'll get a deeper ringing tone. So there's the thin nasal one and then the deep ringing tone. Slow it down a little bit. That sound itself is being shaped by the volume envelope as supplied by envelope one. So if I bring some attack in, you can now hear that every period of the LFO cycle, there is now an attack stage where the sound is coming in gradually. And because it's the, the release of the sound itself, of the pulse wave sound is set to nothing, we get that falling off the cliff. Turn this up a bit. And now it's fading away more gently. Okay, so I've taken all the LFO stuff away and we have a sound that is being the, the envelopes coming from envelope two so we get the sound immediately and then it holds steady until we release the key and then it fades away but i've increased envelope one's impact on the filter and made it a nice big gap between the the frequency cut off and the resonance so we're going to get a dramatic sound so what's happening there is that envelope one is being applied to the vcf by this much Turn it all the way up. Turn it back to zero. Okay. So we apply the, the shape of the envelope to the filter and it sculpts the filter sound according to whatever you've got these settings on. sustain level and then during the release cycle when the note is fading away the filter also fades away they're different things they're not this is not controlling the volume of the sound it's controlling the shape of the filter that's being applied to the sound 
And that's Envelopes 1 and 2 on the Juno 106. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.